Good morning, stampers and crafters. Welcome to Tina's Crafting Spot. I am doing this video today featuring um, the new Legendary Ride uh, stamp set. The blog hop that I'm entering is a spring-themed uh, blog hop. And to me, spring means dust off the bike and let's get going. Uh, I personally have been riding um, over 45 years. Um, I haven't been able to the last couple of years due to some medical uh, surgery injuries to my spine, but I'm still what they call a biker at heart. When Stampin' Up! came up with this stamp set, of course, I had to have it like right now. Um, I, I make cards and I, I sell them and I do craft fairs and I have some card rack set up places. I can tell you right now, motorcycle cars go quick. They go really, really quick. Um, the only uh, card company that I know really did any kind of decent, uh, intricate motorcycle cards was Papyrus. I think that's how you pronounce it, Papyrus Cards. And they had one, uh, my family got it for me, and you know how expensive Papyrus was if you ever bought them, but they had done uh, one that had a very intricate die cut motorcycle on it. I absolutely adored it. So now when this set came out and it has these amazing set of dies that you can assemble and make your own motorcycle, I just had to have it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I've made dozens of cards and I have orders for cards for these. Of course, I am part of a, a fairly big motorcycle community of people, so I get a lot of requests. So today, I want to show you how to assemble these dies. Um, it comes with these neat stamps. You can even stamp and just die cut, or you can use the dies to cut out some of the motorcycles that come on the, the designer paper. Designer paper is amazing. It's even got the diamond plate, it's got tires, it's got some gear, a couple that you can just make really quick cards with. Um, this is definitely a must have. I'm on my second package of this paper. I'm just using it up. Now I've made, um, several of the motorcycles and what I do is I make them I'm going to show you how you can make them in different colors um, just by what you die cut there's some that are you can use a background to assemble it on or you can just kind of assemble it uh, in, in minimalistic type situation here so for part of that we're gonna we're gonna assemble a motorcycle I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you how I made these faux leather vests. Now, for those of you that ride motorcycles, you know that the motorcycle vest is a very important part of our gear. Um, there's, there's a lot of stories behind them. Um, originally, leather vests and leather coats and leather chaps, those were all, they, they help you in, in the event of an accident for less road rash and, and injury from sliding on asphalt. The vest was no different when it was um, added to the gear uh, to help protect the torso and to protect your body from, uh, you know, weather and elements and that sort of thing. Uh, the, the history behind the patches on a vest is, um, Bikers have what they call road names, and that came about early on um, when, at the end of World War II, the bikers that, that rode motorcycles, Harleys and Indians and things in the war, when they came back from war, you know, uh, veterans weren't treated the way they are now. They were kind of outcast and, and treated badly. Well, these elite people that rode these motorcycles during wartime started gathering and making clubs so they could have like a brotherhood like they had in the military. 
when you're in the military, which I'm also a veteran, you 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 become very close with the people in which you will, you spend day in and day out with in small confined spaces. Well, on these vests, they 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 put the club patches in which they may have joined, where the the group they belong to. They have um, what they call road names that they use, and road names. Um, those basically came about, you know, in the early days there were outlaw motorcycle clubs, which some people still, you know, there are some out there, and and people kind of bolt together the motorcycle community in that, but a lot of the members were kind of nefarious, and they didn't want to use their real names, and it came, you usually got a nickname, and a lot of times in the military you had nicknames and they would transfer those over to the names and the things they put on their patches. Just a little trivia for you um, on, on how the vests came about and, and how, you know, kind of motorcycle clubs and in general came. I mean, the, the motorcycles uh, started probably early 1900s, even during the Pancho Villa, where the motorcycles could compete with the horses. So, and then in World War II, uh, Harley Indian and some other groups, uh, there was 80,000 or better motorcycles in the war, you know, for the U.S. and all its allies. They're, they were good war vehicles. And then, you know, motorcycle clubs and stuff didn't start till probably the late um, let's say after World War, so probably late 1940s, maybe 44, 45, somewhere in there, then motorcycle clubs came about. But that's just a little bit of history. And don't get me started, you know, I mean, I'm a motorcyclist, I'm an enthusiast, and I love trivia. So there you go. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make these quick, easy faux leather vests. And you can also, I'm going to give you a uh, template in which you can use to even cut out some of the DSP and create vests. Uh, the diamond plate embossing folder. Um, diamond plate and chrome is a big thing in the motorcycle world. Everybody likes what they call bling on their motorcycle and it's shiny chrome stuff. It's, it's a lot of work to keep clean, but it looks really good. So we're going to create a vest and I'm going to show you how to assemble these motorcycles. So let me jump in. What I did is I die cut. I took our dies and I die cut what we need. So you need one motorcycle kind of body. Okay. And we're going to build off of that. And then I build mine. Now you don't need to do this, but I do it because it's easier to assemble is I make one black background to mount this chrome to and then build the bike off that. Then you can pick and make a color of the gas tank to match whatever you do on the fenders here. And what you do is you cut that one out again, which is this die right here, and it has some embossing on it so you can kind of see where you have to cut to cut out the tank okay so we're going to do that i've cut out two fenders and of course our seat so let's assemble the motorcycle you got your two wheels it also has uh the two tires here these are so intricate they've even got embossing so you have like embossed tires i am so impressed with this die set i can't even tell you so what i'm going to do I'm going to assemble my tires. Now what you can do, and I, I ran out, is when you die cut all these, you can use your adhesive sheets. You know, do your paper on your adhesive sheets, and that way you already have adhesive on these, but they're really not that hard to glue together. So let me, let me turn on some light here. Apparently we're a little dark. Ooh, how's that? Okay. So as you, I told you, the tires, you can tell which side because they've got a little bit of embossing on them. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to these. You can use your fine tip glue pen if you want. If this, this to me is just as easy. 
And then we're just going to stick that on our chrome wheel. Oops. Gluing to uh, chrome paper or foil paper, it takes a little bit to dry and it does move pretty easy. So you got to let it set. Like I said, these you can tell are which side goes where. I just use my tweezers to kind of hold it. Because they're so small pieces. You don't need a lot. It, it, they... Oops, get my tweezers to open up there. All right, so we'll set those wheels over there. Now I want to take my body and I'm going to glue it to my black piece there. A little glue randomly on here. Kind of just helps you build it easier is all. And you can see right where it lines up. that on there and now we're going to take our fenders and now on the fender on this front one you can just glue it straight across there but the thing about that is is if you've seen a motorcycle the fork is on the outside so what I do is I just cut my fender so that that fork is on the outside it, it's it's just a quirky thing. You don't have to do it. Probably nobody's going to notice it except for maybe a biker. So what I do is I lay it on here and then I just mark where that fork is with a pencil. If my pencil would work. So I just mark where that is. Take my scissors. Okay. Now I'll take the back side of that. As you can see, these assemble quite quickly. So you're going to assemble it down to where that fork is going to show. Take this front one. The pieces are so small, you'll see why you need scissors, but it, it's such a cool and we're just going to leave a gap and put that other fender on there and don't glue it to your paper like I just did okay now the other fender you just can glue straight down and it lines up perfectly with the, the other die Okay. Now for the tank, remember I told you there's embossing on here. So it's really simple to cut. You can kind of see right where the tank is. If I can get in the right light here. I'm just going to round that off a little. And your tank glues right on there. You can leave it off and just do a chrome tank if you want. But you'll see it'll line straight up there. And then you have a tiny little seat. And this is the benefit of doing this black background is the seat has somewhere to sit. I do it with the split upward because then that just makes like you have your seat and then your passenger seat. Glue that on there.
And there you go. Now we'll put our tires on our we yeah our tires. So it goes together quite quickly. So on the tire, all I need is a little bit here. On the fork. I have glue on my finger. I keep sticking. Put our rear tire on. And there you go. You have your motorcycle assembled. Now on mine, I made mine metallic paint. Okay, now I did that. I took some crystal effects shimmer. We're just gonna put that on the tank and the fender and let it dry. You can even put a little bit right here at the headlight hole. It'll fill it right in. Just gonna smear a little bit on there. And you know how crystal effects will actually level out as it dries. Just going to put a little metallic on the tank. Or you could use your uh, uh, Wink Stella if you wanted. I just thought there was more kind of a metallic glitter in this shimmer effects. Spread it around nice. And there you go. You have your metallic motorcycle. A lot of motorcycles are metallic paint. So the fun part about this is that if you have a friend that rides a motorcycle, with all the colors of designer or you know cardstock we have, you can create the motorcycle for the person that you're making it for. Say they have a blue motorcycle. There you go. So, all right, we got our motorcycle done. Now let's make the vest. I'm gonna set that aside over there. Let it dry. Just... Okay, so to make the vests, I'm gonna do black leather and I've done both black and brown, but most common motorcycle vests are black. Leather is black. So we're gonna take, I'm just gonna use this little sheet here to keep my area dry and a spray bottle of water and we're going to get it wet I'm going to try not to get it all over my workspace spread that water around so it'll go into the cardstock a little I'm going to flip it over get some water on this side it um, absorbs it quite quickly now we got it all wet Okay, guess what we're going to do? We're just going to crumple it up. We're going to crumple as tight as we can, get some nice little lines in there, and then we're gently going to open it. It's it, it, Our black cardstock is really quite thick, so it, it holds up really well to doing this. If you think you need some more smaller, just kind of crinkle it up. And then what you're going to do, you're going to lay it flat, and you can use your heat tool to dry it if you want or just lay it flat somewhere and let it dry see how it it i don't know if that's going to show on the camera but leather's kind of got that texture to it so we're going to move that aside and through the beauty of camera here is our completed leather sheet now i also did it in crumb cake okay and when it dried i took my crumb cake ink pad laid it flat and just kind of skimmed over it and it gave it kind of those darker uh, marks on it now you can do if you want your leather to be shiny take your versamark pad drag it over it and put clear embossing on it if you want shiny leather but I think when you see this, when you see it in person, it's really not shown here as well. It, it, it's it got kind of its own texture and shine and uh, everything to it. So there we go. We got our leather. 
And then what I'm going to do is I have included on the blog post, I drew a simple vest template, okay? Cut this out and you have a template. And it's, it's you know, nothing intricate, so it's simple to do. I put a tiny little piece of glue on the back here. As you see, I've been using this template for all of these cards. And then you're going to stick it on your piece of leather here. And then you're just going to cut, follow the template. I mean, it's a really basic design, so it's super simple to cut out. You guys have fussy cut it worse. You know you have. I just thought the vest was kind of a, a fun add to the set because, you know, the vests and uh, that the bikers wear are kind of the trademark of motorcyclists. I even have a vest. I have several, actually. Um, I still belong to a RIP women's riding club. Uh, we were established, I'm an original member, we were established in 2012, and we're all women. And when I started riding in the 70s, not many women rode. They rode on the back of bikes with their husbands, but they didn't ride their own. It wasn't, it was more of a male thing. So I had to learn from a lot of male bikers, a lot of interesting things. So, but now there's women everywhere riding. It's a big, big thing. And looky here. So we're just going to pop that off of there. And we have our vest. How fun is that? And we've got the embellishments that come with the set. So all we're going to do, let me grab my uh, take your pick tool. So all we're going to do is add some buttons to this vest. So let's add these right down the middle here. Put three of them there. Their buttons are snaps. Most uh, motorcycle vests are snap. To create the names I put on here, all I put was like, you know, Easy Rider, or I put on this one, I put Lady Rider. And what I did is I took my Dymo label maker and I put it on extra small and I printed out some names. I'll show you how I did this. So I printed these really small little names, Lady Rider and Easy Rider. And then I just took a marker to create the stitching because most of the, the patches have some stitching, as I just took and lightly drew some stitching around these. My pen's quitting. Oops. See where I put stitching around there? And then you just cut it out. So we're just going to cut, leaving the stitching showing a little it's pretty small but you know I mean this this die cut has so much detail to it these motorcycles and stuff you might as well make detail on your your vests and stuff so then you just take the adhesive off your it's pretty small if I can get this other one off. Some of this stuff is really hard for my hand, but if I use my glove, it gives me a little more. So I'm going to put this one right here. And then I'll put either Lady Rider or Easy Rider there, depending on if it's a male or a female. Or if you know um, the person you're making this for, you know their road name. Put their road name on there. How perfect would that be on a card? So then I just stamped some of the motorcycles on here, added the vest, this little name. You, like I said, you can use that template to cut out some of the um, 
the DSP, or you could take maybe the background of one of these papers, put it together on a card, and use your brown leather, created the same way. It's You could go on forever and ever. Um, I've been having a great time with this set. Um, this one I did leather and lace, so I've used my leather, faux leather background on there with a little stitching. Did some lace with the delicate edge dies. The greeting I did do on my computer because I didn't have this. And it's just leather and lace birthday wishes. This is for a girlfriend of mine that is very much into pink and a writer. You can use the designer paper just to create a card. This is one of the pieces of the designer paper I cut out, added a frame, stamped a greeting, done. Or keep them very simple. Sometimes simple looks the best. Add just a little bit of the embossed foil on here, some diamond plate, your motorcycle. Orange and black is a very um, Harley Davidson color, but you know, over the years, they've come out with many, many more colors, especially with female riders. Make your bike whatever color you want. Match it with your designer paper. Add your greetings. You can even uh, add some flames that's in the stamp set on the inside of your card. So it's springtime, ride time. We did a leather vest and how to assemble this fun motorcycle die in the legendary ride suite. I hope you try it. Um, this is going to be a keepsake stamp set. Like I said, out in the industry or in Hallmark and so on and so forth, there are minimal, and as a biker I know this, minimal motorcycle cards available to purchase to give to your biker friends. So these are sure to go and be a popular hit at the craft fairs. And I hope you'll try them out and keep on the blog hop and enjoy the spring fling blog hop and all the neat ideas that everybody has to start off this spring. Hope you have a very happy stampin' day. Bye bye now.